This is the start of the burning season. And that is a humongous fire. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We wanted to start out showing some clips of some fires that we saw driving through the Boulevard Loop. This is part of what's done to prepare the agricultural fields for the next harvest, or the next season. So we drove through and saw some of this. Guys, look at this. This is the start of the burning season. We're in Paxong, and that is a humongous fire. From the end of February through probably the end of April, it'll be like this smoky with these kind of fires starting all across the region. Look at that big plume of smoke. There's one big fire. So that was out on a drive on the Boulevard Loop, and present day is driving through Vientiane. You can see just how hazy it is driving through the city. So I thought it was interesting to get some clips of this and compare it to what it looked like four to six weeks ago. Pretty dramatic difference. But this is pretty common for this time of the year, pretty much around in February, March, and April time frame, you will get into very hazy and hot time of the year and the burning season. We're just passing by a, a big sea, which is, the I believe, the first big sea in Laos. I know that there are smaller stores. Uh, there are many seas, but this will be the first one, which is similar to a big sea grocery store from Thailand. Now getting back to... The haziness, you can see the end of January, what the sky looked like. Bright blue skies with big clouds. So again, pretty dramatic difference between that and what it looks like now with the burning season. Here's a quick shot from the Tat Luang Special Economic Zone area. So again, you can get a good picture of what that haziness looks like. And it'll be like this through the hot season until really the rainy season starts around June time frame. So during this time of the year, it's best to try and look for as much indoor activities as you can to stay in the air condition. Today we were out and decided to go find somewhere to have lunch. So we found this really good restaurant. It's called the Art House Cafe. So they do a combination of art lessons as well as having art for sale. And they've got a pretty good restaurant as well. So we ordered a set of spring rolls, which was pretty tasty, and it had a peanut and chili sauce and a garnish. So all that was really good. And then we also ordered a traditional Lao set, which came with tamak dua, a long bean or green bean salad, as well as a beef jerky and some sticky rice. And then after lunch, we want to go look for the new railway station. So there's a new station in Vientiane called uh, Kamsavat. So this is a new station that will serve both the uh, Lao China Railway uh, ticket service for rides to either Rang Vien or Long Prabang, as well as uh, providing service to Thailand, uh, Mount Kai, and Bangkok. It's a big station. Looks like they've got the ticket office to the Lao China Railway here. Let's take a walk inside. Looks like it's not open yet. It might be another month. 
before the station opens. You can see they're getting everything ready. And this will have the full immigration since this is going to be going to Thailand, I think. Looks like it's going to have the full immigration office to go through. Yeah, this looks like you can get your visa on arrival if you're coming from Thailand. And it looks like there's a couple of different platforms. Not ready yet, but it looks like it's pretty close. So I know before there was the train from Tanalang to Nong Kai, but it looks like they're going to be migrating it to this station so from here i believe you'll be able to take a train to nong kai and then to bangkok it would be nice to be able to take the train from here to thailand it'll be pretty convenient but i think as we get closer to april maybe some information that's released Okay, so that was a quick update on the burning season in Laos, as well as the rail situation coming out of Yangshan and going to Thailand. I hope you enjoyed that. Next video will be a second in our series of our road trip to southern Laos, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't seen the first video, I'll drop a link and you can get to that. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.